All right, guys, today we're going to try and unstuck this seatbelt on a 2021 CF Moto C Force 800. I've heard people complain about them getting stuck, jammed right up. I never had a complaint, and then all of a sudden mine will not work. It is jammed up tight. And I heard that if you let the belt retract too far in, that's when they get jammed up. So I'm going to attempt to fix this, and if it works, great. If it doesn't, oh well, we're screwed. So I'll try to fix this, and if it works, it's, well, hey, we got a fix for everybody. So let's give it a shot. All right, so right away, don't mind the mess on my workbench here. I wasn't planning on doing a video, but seeing we're doing this, and if it works, then we're going to have a fix for everyone. So what we got to do is we have to take off this side here, and I'll show you why in a minute. I think it's this side. This side here, I believe, is the spring, and they say if you take this side off you're and you mess up the spring, you're just not going to have any, any luck fixing it. They say you might as well throw it away and get a new new seat belt so i figure that the spring is on this side now i'm just guessing and because this is the thicker side and this here is the smaller side and i'm guessing there's gears behind this plastic cover plus there's probably a ball bearing in here that's what's stopping it for you to get your belt back out right now so if you look in here and here and here and here i believe somewhere here there's push pins and you got to push those push pins in. So what I did was I pushed them in, but this does not seem to be moving. I want to show you what these push pins look like. They're very tiny. I don't want to lose it. See that little wee push pin? I pushed it too far through. It'll go back in. It holds a plastic cover on, I believe. But watch you don't lose those. If you do, as long as you only lose one. So we're going to go and try to get this cap off now. Okay, so I'm holding the seat belt frame in the vise, and I just could see a little bit of a lip here on this cover. So I just gave it a tap with the screwdriver and the hammer. Hopefully you can see that. Just a light tap, and it broke loose. So let's see what we have inside. The other side's hanging on pretty good. Oh, I see. they got little tabs here that go through holes to hold it in place. So... There we go. It's coming off. Let's hope the spring ain't on this side. No, it looks like gears to me. But I'm going to be careful because I can see that gear wants to fall out. Guys, if I figure out this fix for everybody, we're laughing. We've got it made in the shade. This side just seems to be holding a little bit. I don't know why. There we go. So we've got a gear here. It looks like it wants to drop out. Okay, so I'm going to try and show you what's going on. So inside here we have this mechanism here that probably catches on the gears. So this looks really gummed up and dirty in there. We're going to clean this up and try, if it falls apart, keep note of how it looks right now. And uh, then you'll know how to put it back together. But... We're going to have a look here. So this definitely was the right side. So this here, I don't want this to come off. We're going to leave everything as is. I'll clean it up, blow it out with some, com some compressed air. Look at the crap that fell out of here. No wonder we're jammed up. All right, let's look at the issue here. Look at the crud in here. This is here is all crud in here. Look at that ball bearing. It's just caked up. So I'm going to take it apart. I'm going to clean it up really good. And we're going to try and free that belt up. I think it'll let go now. Actually, let's have a look. So if we pull up on this, look at that. The belt turns just fine. So yeah, I think we got this fix figured out, guys. I'm glad I turned on the camera and made a video. So I'm going to clean all this up right now. So I'm going to put this upside down first. And we're going to knock all this crud out of there. Look at that. I use, I use, no wonder the seatbelt wasn't working. We're not even, we're just getting started here. So this should come out, I think. No, it doesn't want to come out that easy. Look at that ball bearing in there. It's just covered. You know, when you think about it, where this seatbelt base is located, all kinds of dirt can come in there. 
I mean, if you drive in the winter, there's a bit of salt, there's mud, there's water, everything, pebbles, rocks. They can come in here and just make a mess on everything. We'll tip this upside down again, knock it out. Look at all this in there. That's way too much stuff. Whoa, it came out. <laughs> Look at the amount of crap that come out of there. I'm still not done. Okay, so this went in there like... Now, this is the problem. Look at this. More crap coming out. We've got to figure out which way this went in. I'm not too worried about that because I can go back and look at my video. So this will sit in here, and it runs up against that gear. And when this is all stuck, this probably got stuck like that against the gear, open against the gear, and that's why you couldn't re pull it back out. Now this will drop back in, and we'll be all right. So you got to make sure you don't lose your parts. I'm going to clean all this up and bring these back. Okay, I just took a rag and I cleaned this up here as well. wasn't too bad. There's some mud or grease or something. I did spray out some WD-40 before I did this, which didn't work, of course. So maybe that's what gummed it up as well. But anyways, just wipe this up here on this side as well. This is where this mechanism here goes. So now I'm going to just put it back in place. And it went like this. That pin there goes through that slot right here. Oh, hang on a minute. There, like this, like that. So that's how that goes. Okay, so for before I continue, I'm going to pull some of the belt out. I'm starting to think that this may not be our issue, or it could be our issue, but I don't know. I think you'd be able to pull the belt out further than that. Well, there we go. We're just, oh, okay, I see these gears here. They spring up against the teeth here. That's what that was. Okay, so we're going to pull some of this out. And we're going to just kind of put this back together the way it was. But right there. Let's hope this grabs on now. This is new to me as well. So, so we're just going to leave it like that. Let's hope this doesn't retract all in by itself. I like to take that belt all the way out. Okay, so we're at this part here now. Let's just put the side back on. Hopefully we can. Hopefully we can remember how this works now. So I think this part here goes like this. Like that. And I think, okay, we got our side back on. Let's see if this pulls out. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so we're laughing. So what I want to do is I want to pull this belt all the way out and make sure that it's clean. And you can see it's not that clean. So I got the belt all the way out now. So our mission is accomplished. It is unstuck and it should work. But we won't know until we try it. So it's retracting still. That's a good sign. Okay. So now we're going to install this back in the CF Moto Z Force and we're going to try it out. Okay, guys, remember I was telling you about these push pins in here? So I lost one. I found it on the ground. I'm really lucky. But I just used some small needle nose pliers to hold the pin, put it in there. And what you do is you push them in, but the ones that fell out went all the way through. So then you got to come back afterwards. Just use a screwdriver to push them back out. And all it does is hold this cover back in place. Okay, guys, I can remake this part because you want to learn from my mistake. So what I did was I let the belt recoil back up too much and too far so that it got stuck again. So this time I put the vice grips on here to clamp the belt so it can't go back on then i'll mount it back onto the z-force and it'll be the right length see so this will be tied up at the other end and it won't be able to retract all the way and get jammed again so i hope you learned from my mistake <laughs> so now i have to take it all apart again and i actually lost one of these pins but i'm not worried about it i still have three pins so here we go guys i rolled it outside so you got better lighting 
Look at that. Got my seat belt back. And we're back in business. Just pay close attention when you take your seat belt out of the Z-Force where the bolts, the washers go, which side the plate of the seat belt sits on, especially at the bottom, because you got to anchor the belt too at the back. Just take note, maybe take some pictures with your phone so you can see it. Actually, you can just look on the other side to see how it all goes back together. Same thing on this side. But I'm a happy camper now. I didn't have to pay anyone to fix it, fix it myself. I got a video out to help you guys. So if this video helped you, give me a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Yeah.